So the higher you cut it, the shorter the length is. So I would stand on the ladder, but you know, I don't want you, I don't want you to have a heart attack. <laughs> So we got to cut these three trees down right here. Um, I'm a little concerned about this one, the one on that side, because it's leaning towards the house. So I'm going to use the stick and measure, actually measure the tree and estimate where it's going to land. And I'm going to have Sydney place a rock over there where I think it's going to land and we'll see how close we get. So to do that, you have to basically get any kind of stick or an axe handle or whatever and and you put your um, hand like the top part of your hand where you're going to be cutting the tree and then you back up until the top of the stick is at the top of the tree and then and then all you do is keep your hand your arm straight and you turn it like that and where the tip of the stick is is approximately where the the tree will land. So anyway, let's give it a try. Hey, I did turn my tree. Okay, go go towards the chimney. Okay, stop right there. Put it down right here. So I'll be cutting the farthest one first because of the limbs leaning into this one. I'm going to cut that one, and since it's leaning that way, I'm not going to notch it. Usually, you have to notch it on the side that you want it to fall to kind of guide it in the direction you want to fall. I'm going to cut the other one down first. Another thing we got to do is try to cut it as high as we can because the, the call it the butt end of the tree, the, the base of the tree will fall straight down. So the higher you cut it, the shorter the length is. So, I would stand on the ladder, but you know, I, don't want you, I don't want you to have a heart attack. <laughs> out in the front to force it to go the way I want it to go a little bit it's leaning that way so it's hard to force it but um, I pretty much want it to ride along the edge of those branches right there Over 
I'm ready. <laughs> yep. How'd you do that? Whew, I was nervous. Might as well cut the other one out. <laughs> While we're at it. I guess so. Good job. <laughs> what, for not peeing yeah. my pants or something? Yeah. <laughs> Get all these blooms. Yeah. It's red maple. This is the first thing that the honeybees get in the spring. This is where they get the first pollen. At least around here anyway. Yeah. More firewood, huh? Yeah. You need a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's so much better being able to manage this like to be able to cut it down because you see how rotten it is. Just imagine waking up and seeing that on top of our cars. Right. So this one I want to do kind of the same thing because we have a peach tree there and an apple tree there. So I want it to go right in, in the middle of those two trees. Remember last year when I cut that tree down and it landed right on top of the peach tree? Yeah. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. That's why it looks the way it does. Almost. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's a bad place for a peach tree. <laughs> yeah, if it's been hit twice, then <laughs> yeah. it might be a bad place for a peach tree. Well, it does look different. It's yeah. so open. It looks good. Yeah. I like it being open. Yeah, well, let me move. Get this cleaned up. Okay. I think what I'll do for that anyway is it's so gnarly. Cut it off right here. I'll leave this as the main truck. Or are you going to try to save it? Just, yeah. yeah, I'll just cut it off here and this will be the, the main trunk of the tree. A peach tree needs to be short and wide anyway. Yeah. Right. Even those down there, I, I usually cut the tops out of them so that they branch out more. <coughs> <coughs> out, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. That's where our pizzas come from. <laughs> <laughs> they like to do that, don't they? Yeah. Man, it looks different. It does. <laughs> the chainsaw while I've, while I've run the tractors. Will you run the tractor while I run the chainsaw? Okay, now I just need you to hold that rock right there. <laughs> 